Hello, scholars. This week we're going to create a project uh, based on the principle of design called variety. So our paper is going to be vertical, and you're going to write your name either on the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter as long as your name is on the paper. And then when you're finished writing the, your name on the paper, we're going to flip it over. And then we're going to draw the first step. Now we're going to make a variety of different types of bugs. Uh, this usually bugs come out in the springtime. We're now in the spring. So I'm going to take here my circle stencils to show you which size. So I have here the small size. So this will be a, uh, a medium to small size circle. And then next to it, you're gonna draw the same thing. And then inside the circles, you're going to draw two small circles. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna move on to step number two. Step number two is to draw two curve lines. And then we're going to draw a oval shape with a smile, another small oval shape, and now we're going to draw some uh, wings. Now for the step number three, the wings are also going to be oval shape. Okay, and whatever we do on one side, we do to the other side. And then we have the side, perfect. Now what we're going to do is the same bug, but in a smaller version. So this is the variety of the bugs. So now what we're gonna do, we're going to continue uh, the same. So we're going, I'm going to draw a, two smaller circles, and then two circles inside those circles. And then we're gonna copy the same step. Paper over. So look, we're going to do the wings, the body, the smile, the lower half of the body, which is a, an oval shape, and then two oval shapes for the wings. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is the same thing on the top. And this one's going to even be smaller. So we have big, medium, and small bug. So same thing on the top. You can slant it a little bit. We want them to look like they're flying through the sky. So it's going to be smaller in size. So we got the antennas, oval, smile inside the oval, the bottom, which is the tail, which is an oval, and two small ovals for each side, left side and right side. And there you go. Those are your bugs. Now the next step is to draw some grass. Now the grass is going to be a zigzag line starting from towards the bottom of the paper and we're going up, down, up and 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 down. And look, I'm going up, down, up, down, and I keep going with my grass. Keep going, keep going, and stop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some flowers. So the flowers are going to be inside the grass. We're making a variety of flowers. 
So the flowers are gonna start off with a circle or oval. I wanna make uh, more of an oval shape. And our flowers, are, uh, each petal is going to look to appear to have an oval or a circle. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is the other uh, flower, but this one's going to be towards the middle of the grass. So we're gonna make it circle or an oval. And we're just going to keep going around all the way until we hit the other side of the flower and perfect, yep. And then our last flower, which is gonna to be towards the left side of the paper, circle or oval. And then we're gonna just draw some, now I'm gonna draw some oval shapes. Keep going all the way around. Excellent. Now I'm gonna draw some clouds. I'm gonna draw two clouds, one towards the middle of the paper and we're gonna make some curve lines. Great. Now we're going to make some more curve lines. for the cloud on the top. All right, and now we're gonna make a sun. So the sun is going to be a bigger size. We're gonna draw half of a circle uh, towards the top of the cloud. And now we're going to draw some lines for the sky. And here we go. So this is the finished drawing of the project. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline using a black marker. You can use a black pencil or a black crayon. If you do not have black, you can use brown. Um, purple would be fine. Gray. And if you don't have any of those colors, I'm pretty sure you, you do have at home some, uh, a purple color. And you're just going to outline all the shapes and lines of your project. And then once you're finished outlining, we're gonna get started with the coloring. Okay, so now everything is outlined. We're going to color the main focus, which is the bugs first. Uh, the first bug is going to be purple and a reddish violet color. If you don't have that color, then what you can do is uh, use the color red. So we're coloring the first bug purple. and violet red and see i'm just taking my crayon and i'm outlining the section here and with the crayons that i have here I want to make sure that the uh, all of the color is fully colored, leaving the white spots. Okay. Now this part, I'm only going to color one because then I'm going to move on to the next bug. You're going to color the wings red-violet or just the color red for the first bug. I'll finish coloring that afterwards. Now I'm gonna move on to the second bug. The second bug is going to be light green. If you don't have light green, you can use the color yellow, which is fine. 
Then what you're going to do is color each wing with the normal shade, the regular green color. Then the last one is going to be red inside of the bug. And orange for the wings. Now, I'm going to color this on my own. The rest of it, I'm going to move on to the sun, which is going to be yellow. And the flowers, inside the flowers, are also going to be yellow. Now, when I'm finished coloring all of the wings, I'm going to move on to the grass and the sky. Grass is green. And the sky is blue. So, I, the green... I'm going to use for the grass and the background is going to be blue. I'm going to grab a lighter color. Okay, I'll just grab the color blue and the background is blue. So I'm going to finish coloring up the project and then I'll show you the end result. Here is the project completed with the background colored blue, the, the ground colored green, which is the grass, and the wings finished with the coloring. Um, and I even included um, the sun and the insides of the flowers. The flowers and clouds stay white and the eyes.